What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing. Oh, I can't even speak anymore. Today we're going to be reviewing the 2021 BMW M440. Let's go. It is. So one thing I actually do like about it, you have the key right here. Once you approach the car, it would unlock. Get closer to it and it unlocks. I'm talking about the main thing, the grills. I mean, to be honest, it's very controversial. I don't like it on the M440. I like it on the M4s because like the cutout of like the hood uh, the grill, I should say, goes through the hood and looks more aggressive. It looks all right. I really have an M340i, I'm gonna be honest with you. But the color is beautiful of the car. Yeah, to be honest, it looks really nice. The color, especially the back. The front's still controversial, in my opinion. So, it's really quiet. This car does have ambient lighting, which is really nice. You get to change the color of it. You know, when the doors open, it blinks red. It's hard to see it during the daytime. It also has some nice blue stitching on it. The one cool feature about this car that I like a lot is definitely the heads up display, especially when you're in sport mode, because you can see the, you can see the tachometer, like the RPMs of it. it's pretty cool. Shows you the miles per hour as you go to change entertainment and it just slides over. It's pretty cool, nice attention to details. It's overall, like the technology of this car is pretty decent. You do have the, the ring, so you can set the individual, you can configure it. You know forward lane departure warning steering intervention so basically if you get out of the lane it'll kick you back in you know the camera mode one thing about this you do have 3d viewing which is very amazing and they even got the color of the car right you get to choose which angle you want to see the car in and actually goes with it so actually let's click back over here 3d view and while the car is moving it moves with it so you can change the angle to make sure you too you know make sure you're not too close to the curb it's amazing it's pretty cool how it is also has a car wash setting so basically when you're trying to line up i don't recommend going to those car washers because the bristles will scratch your paint but you know it's cool attention to details how they designed that you know parking nice sound nice plain simple stuff well not simple Talking about the price point so the car starts at 58.5 this one does have the parking assist package that 3d view i definitely definitely would get so definitely get that package, premium package like heating, steering wheel, ambient lighting, heads up display. Final price point, 65,750. I mean, well it says total suggested retail. Is it worth that price point? That's up to you. You do get some nice MPGs. For a six cylinder that has a lot of power, it's pretty good. But is it worth this so price point? This car is really quick, it's nimble. It's, it's overall like a good sports slash daily car. Um, first gear, it, it's good but second and third gear that's when you start hearing the turbos like you, you feel the turbos kicking in and you start sinking in the back of your seat like i said it's not my personal opinion i don't think it's worth that sixty-five thousand dollar price point i really gotta use s class and have that as my car then have it like a m440 it's pretty it's a decent car don't get me wrong i like it but the styling of it is just like that front grill that's just okay but if it was an m4 M4, yes, I think that just, that would definitely put it as a top notch. Me personally, I would choose an M340 over the M440. Transmission of this car, this car shifts quick, really quick. Eight gears, I think it's the ZF transmission, if I'm not mistaken, the B58 motor, bulletproof, it's amazing. It's in the new Supras that everyone would be like, oh, it's not a Supra, it's a BMW. Okay, but Toyota did their test on it. They told Toyota's like, yo, we ain't putting your motor in here if you don't go through our test. You know, I'm saying like these, the B58 is a new 2JZ and people are just forgetting about that. Definitely after like some modifications like Catalyst downpipe and a tune, this car can open up and have crazy amount of potential power with inside of it. It's, there's going to be a tuner car without a doubt. Yeah, it all comes down to the price point. Do you think this car is worth 65,000? Me, like I said, personally, no. Is it fun to drive? Yes. Bro, like, I like the color on this car a lot. The interior color, I'll probably change it up. I'm not a big fan of black. I know my 650 is black too, so I, I'm, it's probably me. I'm used to having black interior, so I do want to switch it up. The sunroof, but then again, it's like kind of small. So since we're talking about the coupe, back space is like pretty decent, but you're getting a coupe. You don't really care about the back seat passengers. I'm gonna be honest with you. What I rate the car, one out of 10. I give it a good solid seven. That's all I got to say for the BMW M440i. It's a quick car. It's nice. It has great technology inside of it. Not worth the price point great motor yeah that's pretty much it all right guys be safe like comment subscribe yeah, hit that bell and catch you next video